All right. So I want you to take a look at your 3-4 test that I just passed back. So here's the deal with 3-4 and 3-5 and 3-6. 3-4, you gave me a yes or a no. I basically said, hey, guys, um, here's some tables and some equations and some graphs. Um, are they proportional or not? Yes or no? Okay. So you do know, like, the big three that we're talking about. Like, have you ever heard that before, like, in the auto industry, the big three? What, are the, what is the big three? Ford, GM, Chrysler, right? Okay. Um, so, like, my son has uh, allergies. He's allergic to a lot of different kinds of nuts, but his big three are peanuts, cashews, and pistachios, right? So the big three. So what are the big three that we're talking about in proportional relationships in unit three? The big three is tables, equations, and graphs, okay? And then I'm going to add one thing to it today. In addition to a table and an equation and a graph, I'm going to add words, okay? So a table, an equation, and a graph, and words, those are the three things I want you to understand. So here's kind of the cool part. Let's focus in just on a table real quick. So remember I said there's not really going to be a whole ton that you need to write down today because we've kind of already learned it. So when I gave you your test last week on Thursday or the week before, before break, and I said, hey, guys, here's a table with some numbers in it. Can you tell me yes or no? And you said, all I have to do is to divide. Remember, what is the most important thing that you have to keep in mind today? You're dividing what by what? The y value by the x value. If you divide the y's by the x's today, then you'll be good. You'll be totally fine. Which means it's kind of the opposite of what we expect, right? If you're thinking, oh, alphabetical order, you would think x, then y. Uh-uh. Not for proportional relationships, okay? So for this table right here, and you may not even have realized it, and I kind of taught it to you like a couple weeks ago on accident. I taught you 3, 5, and 3, 6 already. You just didn't know it. So watch. I said, hey, if you get three pyre bucks for every hour, then if you don't go to any hours, you don't get any pyre bucks. One hour, you would get three. Two hours, you'd get six. Eight hours, you'd have 24. Do you remember me doing this? So if I put a table in front of you, like I'm going to today, in addition, and actually, here's the cool part about it. No more yes or no. Today, every single table equation graph I give you is already going to be a yes. I'm telling you right off the bat. Okay, guys, these are all proportional relationships. The only thing you have to do to me, for me today and tomorrow and on all the way through Thursday is tell me what the constant of proportionality is and turn it into an equation. So here's the deal. We got to talk about that right there. Do you remember me telling you that phrase? I said, hey, guys, you know what unit rate is? Remember when we wrote unit rate? I said, oh, it costs $3 for one hour. That's a unit rate. Then I said, hey, in seventh grade, we don't say unit rate. We say, because we need fancy words in seventh grade, right? We call it a constant of proportionality. And it was this, C-O-N-S-T-A-N-T, -S -S constant of proportionality. It's the same thing as a unit rate, except it's just not written like that. It's written like this, right? Unit rate, constant of proportionality. And then do you remember me even saying, I don't know why they chose K for it. Do you remember that? And I said, oh, it would be nice if they chose C because that's what constant actually begins with, right? So do you remember Y equals KX from a couple weeks ago? That's all we're doing today. So this is the constant of proportionality in an equation. I need you be able to be able to find the constant of proportionality from a table. So let's look at that and say, hmm, y divided by x. Well, what's 24 divided by 3? And now you don't really need a calculator for this. 24 divided by, oh, not 3, 8. 24 divided by 8, 3. What's 6 divided by 2? 3. What's 3 divided by 1? 3. And then 0, you can't divide by 0 on a calculator because watch what happens. It gives you an error. It's going to say, oops, sorry, you can't divide by zero. Division by zero is not possible. It's undefined. So your calculator is saying, I don't know what you want me to do. So don't try to divide zero by zero because it's going to give you that. Okay? So do all the other things except ignoring that one. So remember last week all we did was use this for a yes? Oh, yep, they're all threes. Yes. They're all yeses. Today I need your answer to be three. 
And even better than just my answer is 3, I need your answer to be y equals 3x. So guess what 3, 5 is? 3, 5 is, hey guys, what's the constant of proportionality? Just tell it to me. 3, 3, 6 is, okay, now take that constant of proportionality and make it an equation. Your answer for 3, 5 is going to be 3. Your answer for 3, 6 is going to be y equals 3x. That is the only difference. Do you see why I combine them? Okay, so, and you want to know how easy it is for an equation? It's so easy to identify the constant of proportionality from an equation that I didn't even put it on the homework or the test. If I were to say to you, okay, um, that one. Okay, identify the constant of proportionality. Go, don't think too hard. What's the constant of proportionality? That's well, the only number you're looking at. It's six. Okay, here's what I need you to know about what that means. What does that mean? Oh, that means all of the y values are equal to whatever the x value is times 6. Yeah, look. Where do you think y equals 3x came from? Here's the x, multiply it by 3. What do you get? 3. Here's the x, multiply it by 3. What do you get? 6. Here's the x, 8. Multiply it by 3. What do you get? Oh, so all of these y's are just 3 times the x. Yup. The most important part of unit three is understanding the makeup of that little itty bitty equation right there. Do you get it? All of these numbers are three times those numbers? Yep. Can there be a plus or a minus after it? Nope. Okay? So, if I were to say to you y equals 6x, you know the unit rate is 6. If I asked you, which I will today or tomorrow, to make a table from that y equals 6x, could you? X. Why? Zero, well, when I have zero of never, then I have zero of whatever. Zero hours, zero dollars. But as soon as I work one hour, then I earned what? Six. As soon as I work two hours, then I've earned 12. So do you understand the relationship between this table and this? So I'm not even going to give these to you on the test because they would be like me just giving you free answers. The constant of proportionality is six. Okay, moving on. Can you find the constant of proportionality and write the equation from a table? Yes. Can you, if you had to, do it from an equation? Yes. Graph. Two things left, and then we are done. Now, from a graph, there's three levels. Level one, like if you're playing a video game, is the level everybody can beat, right? It's level you cruise through. I'm going to show you what a level one looks like. It looks like this number right here. So, let's stop and think about it for a minute. Hmm, if Mrs. Z wants me to find the constant of proportionality, the first thing I have to remember is that that's just a fancy way of saying unit rate. Unit rate means how much for one. So, I'm going to look at my x-axis and see one. I'm going to follow it up, and it looks like it's pretty right in the middle of this line. Do you agree? Maybe a little lower, but we're going to say it's good, right? So how much for one? Two. two. So three, five is going to say, what's the constant of proportionality? All you have to write is what? Two. Okay? So your answer for three, five would be, oh, my constant of proportionality is two. Your answer for three, six is going to say, okay, take that constant of proportionality and write an equation. Well, oh, so you mean all of the y values are just two times the x values? Oh, yup. Yeah. That is it, right? Do you understand that? Yep. Okay, so that's a level one. A level two is going to look like, I gotta get a different one, this. It's not gonna be as easy. It's gonna look like this. Here's, well, you tell me, why do you think this is a level two? Yeah, it's kind of like right in the middle. And now here's the deal. Yeah, you can be good estimators, but in math, we don't estimate when we can find the exact answer by you doing a little bit of math. So it looks kind of like 15, doesn't it? Halfway between 10 and 20. How else could I use math to tell me for sure that it's 15? There are two ways. Justin. Awesome. He went up to this point right here. He said, well, that looks pretty good. And if this graph line were going that way, that would fall exactly on four. So you know what he said? 
the name of that point is 4 comma 60. And in an ordered pair, it comes x then y. And I love what he said. He said, take 60 and divide it by 4. He didn't say, take 4 and divide it by 60, because that would be x divided by y. So you mean I could put an ordered pair here, find the y, and then divide it by the x, and what's x divided by 4? 15, awesome. Is there another point that would work? Yep. That one looks pretty good, too, kind of right in the middle. The name of this point is I went 2 to the right and 30 up. What's my y? 30. What's my x? 2. What's 30 divided by 2? 15. So was I right in my estimate? Yep. So 3 fives answer is, what's my constant of proportionality? 15. What is the answer for 3 six, though? Y equals 15x. So you mean all of these y values are just the x values times 15? 1 times 15. 2 times 15 is 30. 3 times 15, hey, that's 45, right? Are you getting this? Okay, so that's a level 2. It's a level 2 because 1 isn't perfectly on a line and there are no points there. This is what a level 3 is going to look like. Okay, it's there for you. Okay, and some people are kind of like, this is actually easier than the level two, isn't it, kind of? Probably should switch these two around. Because you don't even have to guess. They're telling you. I don't care what that point looks like. That point is 2 comma 5. That point is 5 comma 12.5. So you know what you do? You take out your calculator, and you divide the y by the x, and you get 2 and a half. You know what you should do, just to be sure? Should I do that for all three? Should I make sure it's two and a half for all three? 12.5 divided by five. So far, so good. 22.5 divided by nine. Awesome. What is my constant of proportionality? Two and a half. How much for one? Two and a half. What's my equation? All of these y values are equal to two and a half times the x values. Got it? The last one I'm going to talk to you about is this one right here. Words. We did this. We did it on our test, right? I said you can do 90 sit-ups in two minutes. Your friend can do 135 in three. What's the unit rate, right? I don't even need to give you two because I'm not asking you yes or no, right? I'm just saying what's for one. How much for one? Five nights only cost 75. How much for one night? If you don't know, then you do this. 15. It's not a yes or no. They're all yeses. So the answer for 3, 5 is, oh, 15. The answer for 3, 6 is, oh, all of the y values, the number of nights is really equal to $15 per day. Yep. That is it. I may give you this, though, and this is the only thing that I foresee giving you a hard time. Misty is downloading songs. In nine minutes, she got 18 songs, and in 18 minutes, she got 36. I will tell you, I feel like the hardest part about this is going to be figuring out which one to divide by which. Do you divide 9 by 18 or 18 by 9? Because let's talk about this. 9 divided by 18 is a half. 18 divided by 9 is 2. Hmm. So, do you remember what I said about independent and dependent variables? What did I say? Your x is almost always time, right? Do you see a measurement of time? Yeah. It's what? Minutes. And what is 9? The minutes. So, x goes where? It's y divided by x. So, x goes here. Find your unit of time, okay? Songs per minute, not minutes per song. Songs per minute, that's y equals 2x. Got it? Okay. So, all you're doing today is identifying. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you right what I go to. I'm giving you the 3-5 study guide. Here are six tables. They're all yeses. Tell me the constant of proportionality. Here are six graphs. They're all yeses. Tell me the constant of proportionality. Here are six, actually, four tables. Not just tell me the constant of proportionality, 
write it in an equation in the form of y equals kx. So take all those threes and make them y equals three x's. Y equals five, y equals five x. Okay, good, good. And then here's some words. Write the equation. Then this is today and then tomorrow and for, uh, Wednesday we have some cutting and some pasting. Um, like what's coming up is all of these. I have like 40 cards and there are 10 sets. This is going to be so much fun because you have to find the table to match the graph, to match the equation, to match the words. And all four of them match up. Got it? So that's going to be some cutting and pasting. And then I have some um, QR code activities that you're just going to kind of read, <coughs> figure out what the constant of proportionality is, and check your answer with your QR code. Test will be on Thursday. Deal? Okay, it is not that bad, is it?